So welcome to this uh, webinar about uh, Campus Récit. So first, I have to tell you about who the Récit is quickly. Uh, we are a team of four, a wonderful team. We are all pedagogical consultants and uh, our, what we do is we support teachers in the integration of technology in ESL. Uh, and there's different uh, types of RECI. There's RECI national like us and also RECI régional for the adult, adult sector. There's also RECI local. Our mandate is to produce material, share material uh, according to our subject, which is ESL. And we support consultants, teachers and professionals in the different uh, school service centers. Uh, we also offer various types of training. Uh, in this case, this year it's been online uh, all the time, uh, but we also go sometimes and meet uh, par participants face to face. We give workshops and develop material with uh, teachers and then share. So our intention to for the virtual events, so I don't know if you've seen the other events, but there's been an event every week since uh, I think begin beginning of December. And every week we touch on a different topic. Today it's uh, Discover Campus Christi, uh, which is a um, uh, platform that's known, that is already used, but we wanted to uh, show uh, the, the material to teachers who have not discovered it yet. So the virtual events, we want to share uh, the vision of our uh, of how to integrate technology in ESL and explore tools and we want teachers to become more autonomous in integrating digital tools so uh, that's it so today what is campus RC? our vision what uh, is our course how uh, you will have time to explore in module three and uh, you will try it out and then I'll tell you about the next steps because this, there is a part two to the today Campus Récit is basically a platform that was created by the Récit, the network of pedagogical consultants. And uh, on this platform, we create uh, tons of uh, online courses for free because the Récit are in our mandate. We always create material that teachers can use, take uh, adapt and share and use in their classroom and they also can share it with their colleagues and uh, it's it's very open we we share for you to use basically so in Campus RC there's um, so there are many many online courses that give you uh, tools uh, or uh, ways to use technology in your class but not just in ESL in all the different subjects and often it, it can be used in uh, uh, more than one subject, of course. There's 108 free online courses offered on Campus QC, which is great, that's a lot. So of course we have some, uh, the ones that we have created, Planification de l'intégration des technologies uh, and Vocabulary Building. The first one, the title is in French because it was created in a different mandate, but uh, everything in the course is in English. Vocabulary building, we built, we created it two, year, two three years ago, and it's really uh, uh, focused on vocabulary building. But there are other interesting courses, like uh, on tablets, iPads, there's uh, ro robotics, there's a uh, you know, qu questionnaire interactif en univers social, that is about quizzes. So you can find out about quizzes and how to use Microsoft Teams. These are in French, but they can, you know, the information can be transferred to English classes, of course. So there's a ton of resources. Now, um, before we dive into the, our course, we I want to go through our vision at the RECI and how we share and how we present material. Again, if you have questions, let me know. So technology is never the goal. Uh, you're you want to integrate technology when it's needed and when it will bring added value, not just because it's technology. So you need to ask yourself some questions. What do you want your students to learn? How can you integrate it into your planning? Do you have to integrate it into your planning? And which te technology is available? Of course, with this pandemic, there's a more material available um, in schools. So 
it should be a bit uh, easier to uh, have to put technology in the hands of the students, which is great. So uh, when even you know now you're maybe distance teaching or you're teaching in class, but uh, in any situation you will have access to more technology. And how do you organize the use of technology with your students? You know, so these are questions you need to ask yourself. And then when you teach, you have pedagogical actions. You need to prepare, carry out, and integrate. What we did is we thought about these three uh, phases, and we thought about which ones would be useful, and we thought about the actions that students and teachers have to do. Uh, if you look on this uh, slide here at the top, at the bottom right, there is a link to a, a website that uh, where you can find. Uh, resources related to the three phases of the pedagogical act. There are four uh, logos that represent tools that we will be talking about in this. Uh, we oh, oh, wow, we have here uh, Quizlet, Quizzes, Edpuzzle, and Padlet. Yes, we do. So in this case, we have here Quizlet, which is to build vocabulary. We have Padlet, now, if you look, Padlet is a tool that you can use for many different uh, moments, uh, many different actions. So we put it there because these are the most uh, common uh, ways to use Padlet, but there you can also use Padlet to int introduce new content, to use a hook to prepare for a task. It's just, um, it has many, it's a versatile tool. Oh, and when we choose our tools, we choose tools that are free to use for teachers. If there's a paid version, the paid version is usually not necessary. Uh, so we choose tools that are free, that are easy to use for both teachers and students, that have a teacher dashboard that make it easier for the teacher to manage, and uh, to if, one that makes it easy to share content afterwards, because there's nothing like, you know, you create something and then, oh, at the final phase, you can't share. Uh, you want students and yourself to be able to use and share easily with the people who need you need to share with. So, and then we have uh, here quiz uh, quizzes, which is a quiz tool, which is very uh, has uh, evolved this summer. Uh, so, what I will be, what you will be exploring today, uh, there's more than to that now. But uh, every tool basically has evolved in the last year because there's so many teachers using uh, uh, online uh, tools that uh, they had to adapt, and then. Carrying out phase, that's where students produce something, right? So they do the research, they produce a, an edit a video clips. Students can produce a media message, either a video, either an audio clip. They can collaborate in writing, uh, in writing text. Um, so, okay, so we have here at the top here, producing and editing video clip, Adobe Spark. Yes, again, uh, Jose, thank you. Uh, Adobe Spark here, which video, uh, and on the right here, book creator. Uh, there's Pic Collage and Poster My Wall. The reason they are both together is because Pic Collage is only on the iPad, but Poster My Wall can be used on both uh, tablets or uh, online. It's just Pic Collage is pretty good. Uh, for students to uh, uh, to use on the tablet, so we had to do uh, uh, we had to to put it there, even though it was not a multi-platform. Another reason we choose a tool is also because it can be used on many platforms. The integration phase and uh, the process. It, basically, this tool is a Flipgrid, and uh, with Flipgrid, which has evolved a lot since we did this course, but there's a lot of new features in there, but um, it's very, very interesting, especially online now. Um, and uh, so this one is very, uh, very good to use when students have to re reflect or uh, present, uh, transfer in, um, ideas and uh, talk about what they've learned, and that's it. So. Um, these are the tools. You have the names there. They are in the presentation. They are in use in the online course. Again, free, easy to use, 
uh, multi-platform and uh, easy to share with uh, others after the project is finished or the activity is done. So now this is what's um, what's in Campus QC, okay? It's your time to explore. I told you a bit about what the tools are, but you need to, before you explore, you need to understand how it works. So basically, planning the integrate the integration of technology is about 10 to 15 hours if you do everything you don't need to do everything but it's uh, you know if you decide to do everything it's it's a very complete course about how to plan the integration of technology there are seven modules with an extra additional tool and resource uh, module you can choose to do one or two or go back and uh, what I tend to do in this type of course is that I bookmark it in my favorites and then I go back to it when you know when I have a question because you'll see that this here will give you a lot of ideas and maybe if you need I you know you need to 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 a little boost of or a little idea on how to uh, use one of the tools you can go back to it and then explore the uh, the ideas and then try it out so this is how the modules are set up um, it is in Moodle uh, the the platform is a Moodle platform uh, you'll see that uh, if you follow the steps uh, one by one I'll go into the course with you so I'll show you how it works uh, it should be easy what is nice about these online courses is that when uh, you create, when you uh, follow the course and you're registered and you, uh, you create an account, you can actually get badges for what you do, what you create, you share, you create or you do something and then you share it with us and we analyze it and we give you a badge a, uh, um, and uh, it's recognition for your professional development. So that is nice because you do it, maybe sometimes you'll have to do it outside work uh, or during work, but you can ask your principal uh, for time to do this. And uh, they, they know a bit more about badges and they tend to accept uh, you, you doing these uh, as professional development a, bit, uh, a little more now. So these are the badges available in this course. If you go in the presentation, you can click on slide 21. This is where I'm at. And uh, you can go in the Campus Reci course. But before you do that, maybe just look at what how I'm going to go about it. So to just so that you understand how it works and then you will be able to go into it. OK, so uh, when you go on Campus Reci, uh, you go if you Google it, Campus Reci, you'll go into it and you'll you'll have access to it. When you're on the home page, you have Formation Pédago Numérique. OK, you can click on Liste des Formations and you'll see them all. But they are also See, I clicked on the icon, the home icon. They are just a little further down. And you can even see some of the other uh, online courses that are available that you might be interested in. Uh, there's tons there that are super interesting. So, of course, of course, we are in Langue. So if we go in Langue, you will not see everything that I have there, but you will select Planification de l'intégration des technologies en anglais langue, langue seconde. If you go in the presentation here, it, you have a direct link. So that makes it easy for you to find. But for today, if I just wanted you to know where to find it when you uh, go on your own. So, and when you open it up, this is what you see, okay? So you see the badges, you see the information, you see that you have to register if you want to get a badge or if you want to see, um, if you register, you can see the progress. Uh, where of what you what was done so um, uh, so if you are if you go you have all the different uh, modules that you could see a bit earlier we focus today we're going to focus because I want you to start exploring we're going to go straight to module three here module three explore different tools if you look uh, when you go in module three explore different tools if you go further down, there's Padlet, there's Edpuzzle, Adobe Spark Video, Poster My Wall and Pick Party, Quizlet, Quizlet uh, Quizzes, Book Creator, and Flipgrid. Uh, 
Now, all these tools are great, but do you know what they can do? Mm -hmm. Before starting the course, you can create, open up a personal booklet and take notes or just take notes on something else. And uh, because what you will have to do in, in for about 10 minutes soon, you will I will give you time to explore and understand how it works. So I suggest you find a way to take notes. So either on paper or uh, find a place uh, where on your computer to take notes. Or like I said, I, um, uh, I, you can make a copy of this document and at the bottom here, you can write notes. You know, you take notes on what you learn about the uh, about today's uh, activities. And uh, this, when it becomes your copy in your Google account, of course, it has to be in your Google account. Um, but uh, you can keep the information and go refer to it later. So, the different tools. Okay. Are you ready to take notes? Because remember, you're going to be exploring one of the tools. I'm going to quickly tell you about these eight tools, nine tools, and uh, you will get time to explore. And uh, that's it. Okay, so are we ready? Take notes. Ed Puzzle. You take a video from YouTube or National Geographic or any video that you created, you upload it, and you integrate questions that students can answer either online, either in class, either by discussing with a partner. OK, but what it does is that you have a video and then it stops. A question appears a, or a comment. And then when you can you click continue, it continues and then another question pops up and then it continues. So that is a, we call that an interactive video. Quizlet is basically a vocabulary uh, building tool. It has games uh, like a matching game. Uh, you, you can add a picture or a text or a definition. You can use it in various ways. And what's great is that you can use other Quizlets that were already uh, created and you, you take it in your account and you modif uh, modify it according to your needs. So you don't have to start from scratch. That's Quizlet. Uh, Adobe Spark Video, you, basically it's a tool um, where you can create a video by adding, it's, it's very simple. In the platform, you upload images one by one. And then on each image, you can record by pressing on a button and you record what you want to say about this image. You record about the uh, what you want to say on the next image and then record and then record. But and it's very simple because you can re restart all the you know many times. And then in the end, what it does is it takes all your images and audio and it makes it into a video for you. So and you can integrate sound and uh, you can integrate uh, text. So it's a, and it's a very easy tool to use. Padlet is like a billboard um, where you uh, where students and teachers can collaborate online. All you need to do is share a little link and people join and you can post messages there or students can collaborate in uh, writing a, uh, text or making connections between words, but it's really basically a board uh, to collaborate between uh, students or teachers and or, right? Um, and also, uh, there's different ways of putting the padlets, so the board, so uh, you can decide to, to leave it so people can edit it or not. It's your choice. There's various ways to use it. Many teachers use it to share information with their students uh, uh, so that, you know, to say what they have to do every week, for example. Quizzes is a quiz tool, but now it has more options. So quizzes, if you already know this tool, you might want to go back to it and explore what the new features are because it's, it's they've worked on it. You can actually create lessons now in quizzes. So students would follow what you have on the screen. You know, let's say you're a, a teaching at a distance. They can, it's, it's they, you build a lesson that they follow and they can answer questions directly. So it's pretty, uh, it's, it's, they've uh, revamped it quite a bit. Book Creator 
to create books. You, with a free account, you can have up to 40 books. Uh, students collaborate and um, can collaborate on a book. All, they, all you need to do is share a code for students to join your class. And then uh, it's pretty simple to use. They can add audio, video, text, change the background, change the layout. They can even do comic the strips. Poster My Wall to and Pick Collage. Poster My Wall is online, so it can be used on a tablet or a computer. And it's a to create posters, that the title says it. And Pick Collage is the same to create posters, but on a, an iPad. Okay. Images, text, audio, and now you can make animations. That's new. Flipgrid is a um, video response process uh, tool so that uh, students can answer a question that you and and everything stays in a platform so that only the teacher has access to those videos and uh, there's ways to share but so the everything is done in one platform so students join your platform and they click on the plus they record their answer and then appears in your teacher's account so it's pretty simple to use for video response okay now it's your turn to choose one of these tools and um, go explore how the online course is built. Because if we look um, in each tool on Campus Rissi, what happens is that you will learn about the chosen tool you and you will watch teachers and students in action and you will uh, explore the different function of, uh, functions of the tool, but this is just an exploration time, okay? So what happens is that now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go show you how one of the tools is explained. And I will ask a person in the chat to tell me which one they want to explore. Maybe they, uh, you know, tell me uh, the first person to tell me what which tool they want to explore. I will go in and show you how it's set up in Campus Rissi. So what do you think you want to explore? You will have about 10 minutes to explore one of these tools. And uh, it's not time to create an account yet. Let's go into Book Creator here. So if I look, Book Creator is open, option seven. If I click on option seven, Book Creator, you have here, explore the tool with, with an example. Now in every number one, there's a project to explore. It's usually something that we created that we of course used uh, as an example for ESL teachers. So you would access the project, read the examples and watch a video. You don't create an account yet. It's really an exploration phase uh, because you don't know what the tool can do yet. So uh, you don't know if you want to create an activity yet. So here, and then after number two, you have ideas of how to use Book Creator. And then here, what we did is we selected videos of uh, because we often collaborate with teachers and they use different tools. So we, uh, we took uh, some videos of teachers and students in action using the eight different tools. Um, and what you will do, you can also watch this. So uh, usually there's about 20 minutes to explore each tool, but today uh, what I would like to do is give you about at least 10 minutes to go and take a uh, look at these, uh, this information here and uh, to understand the structure of the course and how you can explore these different tools. And one thing, uh, if you if you know if you go in this and you're off, you're not too sure, click on the left side to go back to the module, the home page. Okay, the left side here will help you go back to the home page. Okay, um, so uh, what I would suggest is that you go into a Campus Rissi. So go back to slide 21. You click, oh, by the way, you don't have to register for the course, but it makes it easy, you know, again, it makes it easy for you to see uh, where you're at and to follow your progress and to ask for badges, which we like badges. So 
If you're not sure what to do, I'm going to go back again to slide the number 21. You can click directly on Planification de l'Integration. It's going to ask you if you want to join or not. You choose if you want to. One thing is when, if it's the first time you'd register for Campus Récit, uh, make sure that you choose the one from your school board because what it will ask you is that we will, uh, it will ask you uh, which school board you work, uh, you work at. Uh, of course, even if you're a student teacher, that's fine. Um, but you join and then uh, the, the RICI at your school board will be able to support you because they, uh, you, they will know that you're there and uh, that's it. So I suggest you join with your email address from your school board, depending if it's Google or um, uh, Office. Okay, so you can go in and what you have to do is just explore for 10 minutes. Okay. I will put here classroom screen to uh, to put the 10 minutes. Maybe I'll give you five minutes because I want to continue with the rest after. Time flies. Time flies here. Classroom screen. If you don't know what that is. Um, it's a very easy tool to use. That is you have to you have. No, it's not a stopwatch that I want. I want a timer. So, sorry, I don't want that. I want this one. Okay, so I'm going to give you maybe seven, six minutes to explore on Campus Rissi. And if you need help, you can use the chat. You can turn on your microphone and uh, we will help you. So for now, this is a classroom screen to help tell you when we come back. <laughs> So uh, welcome back. Of course, you'll be you'll have plenty of time to explore all the tools. Uh, you can go back and explore any all the tools that are available. What I would like to do is to ask you uh, to uh, do a waterfall chat. So what I will ask you to do is um, in the chat of this here, um, I will ask you to write down, but don't don't press enter yet. Don't send it yet. Just tell me which tool you've explored and maybe just a comment about it. When I say go, you press enter and they will all appear. I know we're not that many today, but I still want you to get the feeling of what it does when you do it with your students online or even in class when you have uh, the board and, you know, the, the information on the board and, you know, maybe you have students in class and at home, you know, so don't press enter yet, but please type in your information in the chat. And when I say go, you will press go and they will all appear. We call that a waterfall chat. Ready, set, go. Okay, so we have Sophie who said Ed Puzzle. Love the multi-choice while watching a video. Okay, Ed Puzzle still need time to, of course, we didn't have a lot of time today. Padlet, okay, Lawrence Padlet, still not sure how to use it. You will have more time to explore. And what's great is, you know, when you do these courses, you, you know, you get our contact information and you can ask for help. You can also contact your, your Récit Local, but uh, we have, uh, we're all there to support each other. And Book Creator for, for Bao. So I can say my story orally and it types for me. Yes, you can by about that's a great feature. And students, of course, if you show that them that feature, they can uh, uh, you, they can use that feature as well. OK, so thank you for that. That's called a waterfall ch a chat in the presentation. You will see that there's an overview slides 24 to 20, 32. There's an overview for each tool. And what we did is we found an example for each tool. So, so if you're not sure and you don't remember what they can do uh, and why you would use them in class, you can go back to this presentation and go look at this and it will help you figure out which tool you can use. Uh, we will not go through all these slides, but they are there for you. 
they are not disappearing at all and you can refer to them anytime so if you access again the same course uh the same course i am going back to it again i'm doing the uh, the process so that you understand it a bit more every time so we have here mod this is module three where you explore the different tools and you look at the pedagogical ideas but in module four try it out that's when you create your account and you look at really all the features of each tool and there's even here a video explaining all the uh, every all the ways that you can use these tools again so this video actually you can just play it and watch it and uh, listen to all the options, the pedagogic pedagogical ideas in module four. For example, if I choose again book creator, I would challenge myself because this is a course. So we give you kind of homework or work or uh, challenges for you to go uh, further. So here. Book creator, you read about book creator, but this is more in the organization wise, you know, how to set up your account, how to uh, create an activity, how to create a book. So this is more like the technical part of this course where you learn how to use these different tools. So you would have to uh, a video, you would have a, a, a information about uh, each tool and then uh, it explains for every all of them, it explains how uh, to create an account and if you want one of the uh, badges is about creating an activity so you can always you know when when your your activity is created you share it with us and you get a badge um, but all the tools are uh, organized this way so that you can uh, this is more the technical part of the tools and you can learn how to use it of course uh, I will not ask you to uh, go create your activity right away, but if you want, after today, you can choose one of these tools, create an activity and come back to see us next week and ask your questions like uh, this is like uh, private lessons for on these tools. If you go back, remember again, try it out. Uh, if you click on the left side again, you can again go choose another one. OK, so uh, for example, Padlet, it's the same thing. You have a video, you have a tutorial, you have re, uh, text to understand it and how to sign up. Now it's almost the end. So what I'm going to do is tell you about my tricks. OK, I have to tell you that since I've been working with technology in class with my students, you know, I started a few years ago, of course, um, I've Google is my best friend because whenever you type, for example, Padlet tutorial. You can find videos. Uh, Padlet tutorial ESL. Uh, you know, you you use keywords that uh, be according to your needs, and uh, you find everything on Google. And then if you Google can't help you, then you go to the help centers of your uh, the website. For example, pa uh, Padlet has a help center in the platform, so you just go there and. You know, if you have the question, others have the same question, so it's probably already answered. Uh, the next step is ask a colleague. You know, this pandemic has made it uh, very clear that we need to support each other and help each other. So maybe, you know, uh, your colleague can figure it out with you, or maybe your colleague has already figured it out, figured it out and you can ask your colleague. And what's great about these tools is that often they are created so that they work kind of the same way so once you know a tool you can go to the next one and you can figure it out a bit faster i don't know if that makes sense uh but this is that's what's great about this uh these tools so the next step when you uh if you go sign up for the course you can actually today uh, if you if, if you go back and you discover uh, three or four tools, you can ask for a badge and get your first badge uh, to because you've discovered tools in module three. And then when you ask for a badge, what happens is that you, uh, for example, ask for a badge, explore different tools. You ask for a badge, a module. Activity for earn a discover badge. Wow. And then you uh, and then you uh, create uh, send your homework and we evaluate it and we give you your badge. OK, you are with us today. You 
already deserve a participation badge. Yay. So in the document on slide 41, you can click on uh, the uh, here at number three. You, of course, for that, you need to be, you need to have an account because we need to know who you are and we need to be able to uh, give you, award you your badge. So uh, what happens is that you can click on this here and it brings you to this new page because we we had so many virtual events that we had we created a special page just for them you have to basically uh, select discover campus Rissi january 23rd and uh there is a homework for you request a participation badge for the webinar i'm sorry this is my layout as a creator of this course so you don't see it's not exactly the same but basically, when you open it up, it will ask you to answer a to complete a little form and then I get it and I give you a badge because you are one of the, the lucky ones who were uh, who attend who were able to attend today. So and what happens is that you will see in your account your badges and the more you uh, get your badges, the more your, you know, your badge area will be full. So. Uh, it's five o'clock. Uh, in here, you have our contact information for the whole team. We are a great team. We like hearing from you. We like hearing what you do with the, our resources. So you can contact us and uh, either through our website, our Facebook page, and uh, I, or by email. Uh, we'll be very, very happy to answer your questions or guide you towards a resource or something that you can use. Um, uh, with your students.